Raw and SmackDown's best men and women compete for a life-changing opportunity tonight at Money in the Bank. Now it's time for one of the most anticipated Money in the Bank. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. Versus a formidable opponent. Oh, we are going anywhere. Encouraging him, Michael. I would love to have a miss. He didn't have all the praise and promotion. He became a star because he earned his way and he earned the respect of the WWE Universe. Oh man, a little 
extra luster behind that kick. The man is looking a little stunned here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more wow. motivated than ever. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty oh, of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Wow. No surprise that the sold-out signs went up early on this one, guys. Anytime a WWE pay-per-view rolls into town, you can bet it will be the hottest ticket around. Some offense. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Corey mentioned earlier that the sold-out sign went up fairly quickly for this one. Or as WWE Hall of Famer Gorilla Monsoon might have said, the SRO signs went out early for this one. Oh, man. I don't know if there was an announced pairing more entertaining than Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. True legends. Toss to the outside. If you ask me, guys, this match alone is worth the price of this month's WWE Network subscription. Of course, there's other great matches on this pay-per-view card, but for my money, it doesn't get any better than this. I think a lot of people share Corey's earlier sentiment. This match is undoubtedly one of the highlights of this pay-per-view, which Byron is stacked with a series of amazing matches. Yeah, we get to sit here and call all of them. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. I still can't believe how it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. He's in trouble here. Figure four leg lock. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, it's locked in. Can he end it here? Let me tell you, that can cause some serious injury. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Looking around this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty of youngsters in attendance who will undoubtedly look back at this night with great fun, as much as Byron did when he watched WWE pay-per-views in his youth. Don't sleep on the true headline of Saxon's little antidote there, Cole. He actually said he had friends come over to his house. I think we need to fact-check that one, because I'm not buying it. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. He might just have nothing else to give, guys. Gaining some extra leverage here. Concern for the rules. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. How in the world? When this guy's on, look out. to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. DDT! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Nailed it. Shoulders on the mat. Gets the shoulder up. Too early in the match to end it. He might have it. That'll rock you to think. I almost wrote him off earlier. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Oh, the reversal by the Miz. Skull crushing finale. Here's his moment, Mike.
Michael. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! And the shoulder gets up in time. That's too early for that. Showing some quickness there. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Not so fast. Submission time. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Looks like he's starting to lose it here. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. And body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? This might be it. Oh, my. He's going for the pin. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Not yet. The Miz is going up. The Miz is calling for it. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Incoming. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Look at this. Miz. Slammed down hard. This one's over, guys. Did you guys feel that, too? And this is gone. Kicks out. Wow. The Miz is calling for it. And see skull crushing finale. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Got the shoulders down. One. He's got to be running on empty at this point. How'd he do that? Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. so excited and he should be that was a huge win i tell you this has been such a hotly contested rivalry here at wwe he earned this victory here tonight yeah these guys have been going back and forth for weeks on end and finally tonight despite the fact what the loser says this young man deserved this victory it was a competitive matchup as we thought it would be but one man had to be that much better and he was that man We have a great match coming up next. Who will reign supreme?
Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City. Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's going to take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. Brock Lesnar is ready for a fight. Welcome to Balor Club. Superstar the world over, Finn Balor seems to get better, faster, stronger, and more dangerous every single week in WWE. You can just feel the widespread respect that the WWE... The man who beat the streak is prepared to strike again and annihilate his opponent, whether it's the F5 or the Kimura lock. The result will be the same, a crushing defeat at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. car that Byron brought up earlier might have been the most chaotic cover here. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. Nice kick out. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Uh-oh. 
Guys, we've come a long way since the first ever WWE pay-per-view, which was actually the Wrestling Classic in November of 1985. I know a lot of people usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first W. Look at this. And Lesnar powers out. Too soon. Digging into his encyclopedic mind earlier to pull out that amazing fact of the first WWE pay-per-view. As he said, it was the wrestling classic and the feature of the 16-man tournament, which was ultimately won by the Junkyard Dog. I'll give credit where credit's due. That's some impressive knowledge dropping by Saxton right there, especially considering he was like four years old when the classic was held. Now the head scissors are fine. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. Going for the cover. Yeah, I don't believe it that he didn't win this match right there. Too soon. Uh-oh. Oh, what a German suplex. Corey noted earlier just how big this is for these superstars. This is why they choose to get into this business. This is why they spend those countless hours training a match on the big stage. And you can bet all the WWE hopefuls training in the Performance Center are watching this pay-per-view tonight, hoping it'll be them competing on a WWE pay-per-view in the very near future. Oh boy, he is what great job escaping trying to turn this thing around. He's barking about something now. This is uncalled for. German suplex! Woo. What is keeping Finn Balor in this match? Barely hanging in there. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. Guys, it's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm the referee, I'm seriously considering stopping this match. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again right now. This is his opportunity to... He's got the shoulders down. Look at this. Harsh impact. And now Finn Balor heads up. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Cody Ross. That should do it. And he goes for the pen. Two gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? I never thought I would see Brock Lesnar in this situation, but the Beast continues to survive. This might be it. Oh, my. Finn Balor never see. Look out. He's not messing around. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Oh, and he reverses it. What? Wait a minute. Look at the monster that is Brock Lesnar. What's he doing? Oh boy, he is good. He wants no part of the outside. And Finn Balor slips out of Bob's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Team 16. This one's over, guys. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Balor looking to end it. Team 16. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Ben Balor can drop. We've got a cover. Ooh. And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. He's got him covered. One true test of it to grit. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included.
I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Oh. <laughs> what? Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Let's Brock Lesnar put it together here. Oh, boy. point on the end of the match, guys. Uh-oh. Batting down the hatches. With the F5. Bang! Things are about as bad as they can possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Finn got the pinfall and the victory. Victory and a strong showing from this superstar. Very, very impressive. And the celebration continues. Oh no, where are they going with it? Oh! This match is over. This is too much. Yeah, what is this all about? This is ridiculous. Completely uncalled for. Maybe the victory is oh, into the steps. They wanted to send a message. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here, next. is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. Like, like the three of us. No, Byron, I am not a broski. I have nowhere near the penchant for fake tanner and spiked hair as Zack Ryder does. Don't take away what Zack Ryder's accomplished here. Former United States champion, former tag team champion. And here comes the architect. Freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the Architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action.
Introducing the challenger from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, Zach Ryder. Introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins! Stay tuned. There's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Hey, if Seth Rollins decides to burn it down tonight, uh, hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? Ouch. I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? I'll cover for you. I got this. That's a little extreme. Hooked up. Slam with authority. Harsh impact. Not the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. Done. Mm -hmm. oh, moonsault. Incredible agility. Guy Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. He's this is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Face Buster! He goes for the cover, and Ryder kicks out. So resourceful. Seth Rollins playing a little head games right now. Nailed it. The challenger is not in a great place. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. That confidence he had in his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. Oh, man. He's taken quite a beating. A concerned look on the face of the champ. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. Eight. Zack Ryder trying to beat his opponent mentally as well as physically. Beautiful technique. Oh, you gotta believe this one's over. And Zack Ryder easily getting the shoulder up. Oh man, I don't know who to root for. Up and down. Beautiful. Well, the architect is rolling now. Believe it or not, fellas, something. Seth Rollins. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Seth Rollins just changed the momentum of this match. Knee drop. 
That was nasty. So precise. His shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? He needs to change something fast, guys. Apparently, he can summon this kind of energy at will. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up content. What a knee strike from the King Slayer. I don't know. He goes for the cover. The history books will have to wait another day. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Ain't nothing better than action like this. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Picking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. No flips, Byron. Just this. Tag Team Specialists. There may not be a better team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? Oh, boy. Open your ears, Michael Cole. Things are about to get woken. This is just dumb. It's not dumb, Cole. The it's fact woken. That you believe this is dumb. It's the yin and the yang. It's the light and the dark. It's the deleter of worlds. Hey, Corey, watch. You think I could be woken? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. You are an ignoramus. I do have an idea, though, what? Byron. What do you call me? Go jump in the lake that he already has and never... I was talking to Scott Dawson in the back earlier tonight, and Scott calls himself the tactician of the revival. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Wow. 
Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Ooh, what impact. Boom, oh, what impact. There's a tag. championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. What a close line! Ouch! The champ's starting to stumble a bit. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Crazy Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. That's how you wear down your opponent. A similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay. Scott Dawson coming. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Oof. Scott Dawson on the defensive here. Number one contender and I. You hope he brought his A game here tonight. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Guys, oh, what impact! That creates a big opening here. Ooh. Scott Dawson looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can he get out of this mess? The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. If you're that good, you have every right to blow your chest out a little bit.
As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. sleeps, if at all. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. He wants no part of the outside. Ray Wyatt reverses it. A bad place to be for the challenger. And you know his number one contender, he had higher aspirations than this. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. Boom! Nasty backbreaker. I'm not sure how much he has left. Elbow drop! Piercing. If Dash knows what's good for him, he'd cut that stuff out pretty quick. There's no way the 
champ can move now. Wow, they got out of there just in time, barely. It escapes trouble there. can sustain a drop like that, Michael. Down with the Samoan drop. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And he's able to get out. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Oh, nasty impact. Amazingly, neither side looking to give in here, guys. I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting match. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here are your winners, and still, Raw Tag Team, Ray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. Tag teams, beware, these two guys are legit. With that win of the books, we must now move on. contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. The Irish last kicker. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. First ever women's hell in a cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time.
multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, legend. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Introducing the champion from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. So don't move a muscle. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. And, ugh, I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two women. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yes. The, soup, the champion into the cover. And Becky Lynch powers out. That's too early for that. Larian. Boom. <laughs> Pinball attempt here from Becky Lynch. And the champ kicks out. Nice kick out. She has the fight of a champion in her, which will certainly help her down the stretch. Got a little something brewing here. That huge impact. Oh, it's over. Look at her go. Oh, 
And look at, oh, what a slam that hurt! Putting it all on the line. Look at that! Oh, nasty. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. She is on fire. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And that was only a one. Not yet. Becky Lynch gets the suplex. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Charlotte's just getting overwhelmed. That's not something you see often for the Queen. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. And the champ kicks out. She's still in this one. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Thank you, Lynch. Got the disarmor. We might have a new champion here, guys. Game, set, match. This one is over. Momentum is completely in favor of Sharp. The champion into the cover. Well, Charlotte wins and keeps the title in impressive fashion. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. This was another great moment. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening.
Now, Roman Reigns once told me he carries his family legacy as a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. of WWE proudly feels that he carries this business on his broad shoulders and will continue to do so well into the future. But Roman has that swagger. Roman has that confidence. And Roman has that message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can stop me, try. Yeah, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good. One of only two men in history to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Introducing the challenger from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena! Introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman. Don't even think about going anywhere. is so dominant, so powerful, so dangerous. He's an unstoppable oh, physical force that backs down from no one. Oh, oh, man! Right in the mouth. Championship matches among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. Big slam. He wants no part of the outside. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time. So far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael. We're just saying something. Considering fans' expectations heading into tonight, I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate. And so far, I think it's delivered. This drop! Man! Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. He comes into this championship match with a full tank of gas and ready for a fight. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Looking for all the glory here. That was an easy kick out for Roman. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alludes that one. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into it tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again here tonight? Agree. I don't think anybody expected Eddie Guerrero to defeat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship back in 2004, but hey, it happened. And it's further proof that any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Harsh impact. 
He's got him covered. And the champ kicks out. Not even close. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. No, another reversal. Superman punch. Here's the pin. Title on the line. A kick out. And he almost had him. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? You've got to believe this one's over. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. No will happen next. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He goes down hard. Here's the pin. Oh, no. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Oh, impact. I don't know. Is that enough to 
stop Cena. Look at that. He's making a statement here with this attack. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Superman punch! What a comeback. Wow, that should be the final blow. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Sizing up the target. Spear! Cut him in half. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Two. And he's able to get the shoulder up. How'd he do that?
The monster of a man is here. Making his way to the ring. Weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. No, quiet, quiet. I don't want him to hear you. Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things. You know, Sami Zayn was once known as the underdog from the underground. Yeah, then he started hanging out with Kevin Owens and became the coward from the underground. Yep. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Yep. Sami Zayn simply aligned himself with his best friend, and the two of them yep. have achieved incredible things in WWE. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, getting fired. Like uh, starting the yep movement. By yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep. Yeah, ripping off somebody else. Really creative. Yep. He's the Lone Wolf. There's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people. And he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion. NFL offensive lineman turned champion in WWE. This kid's the real and deal. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in Woo! at 245 pounds, Jason. Hey, Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT SmackDown and Raw Tag Team titles? Oh, I know. Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. He read it off my notes. Fair point. Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment that was. the news. The Cerebral Assassin has arrived.
The mood has changed. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game. This is Triple H's world. The spotlight is his home. A Grand Slam champion, one of the all-time greats. A former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, McFoley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. I've never looked back since. to ever lace up a pair of boots. A surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. Everything he's created in the ring and out. Welcome to the Wasteland. And from Grand Rapids, Michigan, weighing in at 268 pounds, Connor! because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. Listen, you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world? All right, I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that, if they are.
easy here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. With so much on the line here in this ladder match, he has no choice but to find a way to overcome this attack, guys. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Back in from the floor. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Max Handel finds the mark. Oh my goodness, crushing it! Elias getting put in check here. Man, he's really going to need to create some space for himself. Don't worry, Cole. It's going to take a lot more than this to keep him from climbing that ladder and winning this match. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Delivering the shit breaker! Watching this match, I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong, but now they've really grown into such a major spectacle. What a slam! Impactful. Oh, jar your spine. Seven. Oh, nasty impact. What you're saying before, Byron, was spot on. WWE pay-per-views today really take over the entire city, and people travel from all over the world just to say they were a part of a WWE pay-per-view. Yeah, I actually met fans from three different countries during breakfast earlier today. All of them were here in town specifically for this WWE pay-per-view. shouldn't surprise anybody, especially given how stacked the card is. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> Bringing it back into the ring. Whoa, oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. The excitement level is incredibly high, as Corey was saying, and it's been that... Uh-oh. Go for the run. Massive touch slam. So impressive. But now, can Undertaker capitalize? Oh, boy. He was real. He's a ball of energy. Oh, my gosh. From what height? Had to do it. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back with that one. Ooh, what impact. Bringing it back between the ropes. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh, and he reverses it. Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. And it's Jason Jordan with the head game. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Here we go, right in the center of the ring. A perfect place to set up that ladder. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? That's right this one is over. time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. He's getting it done here. Here is your winner, The Undertaker. And that's the win to start off the night. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold.
The action we see each and every year at Money the